Papa, that is why you are called Jehovah. What you say you will do, that is what do you do. That is why you are called Jehovah. Jehovah, you are the most high. You are the most high. Uh, you are the most high. Oh, you are the most high God. Oh, you are the most high. You are the most high God. Jehovah, you are the most high. Oh, you are the most. Oh, King of glory, you are the most high. Oh, you are the most high God. Jehovah, 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 you are the most high. Oh, you are the most high King. King of glory, you are the most lion of Judah, you are the most icon. You are the reason why we are God our Father, you are the most icon. You are the reason why we are here, Father, you are the a Jehovah, you are the most high. Oh, you are the most high God. You are the most high. You are the most high God. Oh, you are the most high. You are the most high God. Jehovah, 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 oh, 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 Jehovah, you are the most high. Oh, you are the most I go. You are the reason why we are God the Father. You are the most I go. You are the reason why we are here, Father. You are the most. Ajayava, you are the most. Um, you are the most I go. Jehovah, 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 oh, 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 Jehovah, you are the most King of glory, you are the most. I am that I am, I, you are the most um, You are the most I God, Jehovah, eh, Jehovah, ah, Jehovah, eh, 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 Jehovah, oh, 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 Jehovah, you are the most you are the most psycho you are the most high oh you are the most psycho you are the most high you are the most high king of glory you are the most i am that i am a you are the most psycho you are the reason why we are god our father you are the most psycho you are the reason why we are living lord Ah, Jehovah, you are the most um, You are the most I go. Jehovah, you are the most uh, Oh, you are the most I go. You are the most uh, You are the most I uh, Lion of Judah, you are the most I uh, King of glory, you are the most I go. Jehovah, eh, Jehovah, ah. Jehovah, eh, 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 Jehovah, oh, 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 Jehovah, you are the most high, oh, you are the most high God, you are the most high, oh, you are the most high God, you are the most high, you are the most high King of glory, you are the most high. You are the most I go. Jehovah, eh, Jehovah, Jehovah, eh, Jehovah, oh, 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 Jehovah, you are the most I. You are the most I king of glory. You are the most. I am that I am, and you are the most. Oh, Lion of Judah, you are the most I. You are the most I go. Jehovah, eh. Jehovah, 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 oh, oh, Jehovah, you are the most high, you are the most I go. You are able God, you are able God, you are able God. 
You are a God, you are a God, you are a God. Oh, you are a God, you are a God. You are a God, you are a God, you are a God. 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 You are a God. Oh, you are a God, you are a God. You are a God, you are a God. You are a God. You are a bug, oh, you are a bug, 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 you are a Ah, you are a bugger. Ah, you are a bugger. Ah, you are a bugger. You are a bugger. You are a bugger. You are a bugger. Ah, you are a bugger. Ah, you are a bugger. 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 Oh, you are a bugger. You are a bugger. You are a bugger. Ah, you are a bugger. Ah, you are a bugger. Ah, you are a bugger. You are a bugger. You are a bugger. You are a bugger. Ah, you are a bugger. Ah, you are a bugger. You are a bugger. You are a bugger. It's heaven, God. Let us begin to worship Him, to thank Him for His goodness and mercy upon our life. In the mighty name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, we thank you, King of Glory. We thank you, Father, and the King of Kings. We thank you, I am that I am. Father, you are worthy, you are mighty, excellent. You are wonderful, mighty God, that you might be. Oh, Lord, there is no other God, it's like you, there is no other God to comfort you, Father. You are the most high God. You reign it, you reign it, you reign it. Father God, we love you, Father God, we bless you, Father God, we worship you, Father God, we adore you. Father God, we magnify your holy name, Father. You are awesome, you are beautiful, you are excellent, you are wonderful. Mighty God, that you might be. Oh, my Father God, God, we say thank you, King of Glory, we say thank you, Jesus, we say thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. and I'm gonna say thank you, boy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the food, thank you for the drink, and thank you for the air, and thank you for my life, my husband's time, my kids, and my family's time. And I'm gonna thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Father. You are worthy, you are mighty, you are excellent, you are wonderful, mighty God. That do my best and find us. Say thank you, Lord Father. Say thank you, mighty Jehovah, excellent Jehovah, wonderful Jehovah, great Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised, you are worthy to be worshipped, you are worthy to be adored, you are worthy to be reverenced, oh Lord, my Father, my Lord, my Savior, my Redeemer, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us go before the throne of mercy to ask God for mercy in any way. We we'll open the door for the enemy. May the Lord have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lord, the Ancient of the Father, you are worthy, you are mighty, you are excellent, you are wonderful, mighty God. Not be my people, Father, I'm not going to be here. Any little that has been to my husband, has been engaged to my children, and has been engaged to my eyes, my ears, Lord Jesus, and I ask you for your mercy, 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 Lord. But I feel that. Jesus, 
We pray for your mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Let us pray the blood of Jesus to purify our soul, body, sweet, our garment of salvation, and robe of righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray the blood of Jesus. Father, God, we thank you for the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray the 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 blood of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, my Father, I plead the special blood of Jesus from my Father, my Lord, my Savior, my Redeemer, I plead the special blood of Jesus from my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Redeemer, my Father, my Lord, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let us welcome the Holy Spirit in our midst. We cannot do without the Holy Spirit. Let us welcome the Holy Spirit to come and baptize us with the Holy Ghost fire in the mighty name of Jesus to fill us with the corporate fruit of the Spirit to anoint us once again in the name of Jesus. Let us welcome him in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, you Jesus. Put, oh my Father, Father, my lovely daddy, sweet Holy Spirit of God, we cannot do without the Holy Spirit. Please, have your will. We depend on you, Holy Spirit of God. Please, come and have your will. Holy Spirit of God, this Bible story belongs to you, Holy Spirit of God. We shall have done to you on our own. You are our leader, you are our teacher, oh Lord, Spirit of God, we welcome you. We cannot do without you. Holy Spirit of God, the Spirit of the living God, come and have your way. Come and have your way. Come and have your way. 100% depend on you. 100% depend on you. We trust you. Holy Spirit of God, come and have your way in the name of Jesus. Teach us open our eyes to understand it, to understand the scripture in the name of Jesus. Christ. speak to each and every one of us. Explain to each and every one of us the way each and every one of us will understand your word in the name of Jesus. And help us, O Lord, to understand you in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, we we decree you in us, O oh Lord. We, we don't have the powers on our own. We, we depend on your power. We depend on your strength. In the name of Jesus, Jesus the Holy Spirit of God, we work in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Let us put on the arm of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we put on the armor of God to protect us against the powers of darkness in the name of Jesus. Let us pray, Father. Yes, Father God, I put on the armor of God in the name of Jesus. My Father, I put on the armor of protection. I put on the armor of God, my husband. I put on the armor of God, my husband, my children. I put on the armor of God, my family member. I put on the armor of God in the name of Jesus. My Father, my Lord, my Savior, my Redeemer. Put on the armor of God, my husband, my children, my children, my husband, my brother, and Jesus. Put on the armor of God in Jesus, my Father. I thank you for the whole of God in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my Lord. And I cover the song of the whole of God, cover each and every one of us in this song right now with your whole of God in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my Lord. I thank you for the whole of God in Jesus Christ, Father, I thank you, Lord, for the whole of God. Thank you for the whole of God in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, you are worthy, you are mighty, you are excellent. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. The Bible said they will surely gather together against us. But the, the, the God gave us the power. He said that even when they gather together against us, they will fall for our sake because their gathering is not of God. God will disappoint them. They will fall for our sake in the name of Jesus. So we are going to pray. Any evil order in calling name our Jesus name for the Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus, Father, let your fire let them Heavenly Father, they are calling our name for you. Any way they are to turn fire rules and scatter them in the name of Jesus. Father, let them be rules to achieve in the name of Jesus, my let them be rose to achieve. Let them be rose to achieve. The name of Jesus, my Lord, my Lord, oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God. Man, let your fire arise and consume them in the name of Jesus. Let your fire arise and consume every power of darkness in the name of Jesus, my Father, my Lord. And let your fire arise and consume every work of Satan in the name of Jesus, my Father, my Lord. And I destroy every work of Satan in the name of Jesus, my Father, my Lord. Destroy every work of Satan in my life, my own sons, my children, and my children. 
this ministry, Heavenly Father, and our gathering right now, destroy the work of Satan against our gathering to hear from you right now. This Bible to be part of every part of the every 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 agent of Satan that is set up for the fire right now. This also, Father, let the thunder fire rise and consume them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let them fall and suffer for our sake in the name of Jesus Christ. And I send the word to them to scatter them wherever they are. The hell the name of the soul that is same, and I let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, God, destroy them, destroy their plans in the name of Jesus And I frustrate them, frustrate them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, my Lord, greater is you that is in us, that he that is in us. Father, them Christ, O Lord, and destroy them. Oh Lord, Jesus and Christ, O Lord, of Jesus and Christ, O Lord, of Jesus and Christ, and destroy them. Every work of sin in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, my Lord, God, frustrate them, frustrate their plans in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Jesus, frustrate them, Lord Jesus, frustrate them, Lord Jesus. Anoint your daughter with the anointing of boldness to deliver this message and for the children of God to hear it the way God wants them to hear it in the name of Jesus Christ on But to bring Lord, my heaven and Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lord, the Asians of the Father God, the Father, Lord Jesus, Father, we commit to Lord Jesus, Father, the message, the message, Father, 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 I believe so, my God. I have nothing on my own. Father, and I speak through me in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my Lord. Any power that wants us to do evil against me, Father, let your power and fire arise and consume those powers and kill every arrow of darkness, fire and against me right now. Oh Lord, my Father, let this arrow come out of my life and come to me in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father. Find my battle for me, Lord. And I send your holy angel to watch over me, over my husband, over my children, over my home. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my Lord, and mighty God, fill me afresh with your mighty name, Holy Ghost. And with your in power, Jesus' in mighty Jesus. name, we pray. Thank you, Jesus, Amen. Hallelujah, Father. We come against every spirit of destruction, oh Lord, Father, as we are opening this service of the Bible study to them. Father, Holy Spirit, come and take over, come and take over your daughter. Father, come and give us, oh Lord, Father, the wisdom, oh Lord, Father, to understand the message that you are going to hear, the, the scripture that you are going to read. Father, fill us, oh Lord, Father, with your knowledge, discernment. Open our spiritual eyes, our spiritual ears, oh Lord. Father, I commit, oh Lord, Father, those that are going to listen to this message, oh Lord, as they're listening to it, oh Lord, Father, their life is not going to remain the same in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, bring transformation in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit to come and take over this wonderful moment in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you all. This is our adventure Sumai Bible study today. We thank God. As you listen, be blessed. And I know if you have any question, you don't exit to contact me or you can inbox me. The Holy Spirit will help us to answer the question by the grace of God in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you and reward you as, you, as you're listening to today's preaching, today's Bible study in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. I'm going to welcome the servant of God, the evangelist Fisher, that is going to lead us in this Bible study in Jesus' name. May the Holy Spirit to fill you, refill you again in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Over to you. Amen. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. 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 To the Lamb of God, we bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good. Our God is kind. We bless his holy name for gathering us again to sit at his feet and hear for his. You know, I thank God for God. He said that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of our God, almighty God. Hallelujah. I am so grateful. I am so thankful, almighty God. <laughs> Oh, you know, when I say it and I say it again, I mean, I don't know, I don't even know my right, I don't know my left here. <laughs> 
<laughs> Father God, you need to see somebody to choose this. Me said that we go come and leave my pastor. What, what did I know? Holy Spirit, I know. Holy Spirit, I depend on. Please don't see me. See Holy Spirit. <laughs> that minister to each and every one of us is our leader. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank you. We thank God for God. I love you all with the love of God, with the love. Bless you. I greet you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We like to have a word of prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Asians of the Father, you are beautiful, you are excellent, you are wonderful. Mighty God, that do my thoughts and Father, I just want to thank you for this moment. Thank you for your bringing us together to sit at your feet, Father. Father, there is no other God like you. There is no other God to compare to you at the most High like, God. Uh, you reign it in the heaven. You reign it in the earth. And the Lord of hosts is your name. Father, in any way that have sinned against you, in any way that have sinned against you, Father, forgive us. Father, send your warrior angels, so my to guide us, to protect us. Fill me afresh with your Holy Ghost and with your power. Father, anoint my voice, anoint my lips, so my God. Put your word in my mouth, oh my God. I don't know what to say. You know say what you say. Father God, open our heart of understanding in the name of just God to understand your scripture, Almighty God. In the name of just God, Father, we love you. We bless you. They come and have your way in the name of Jesus God. Holy Spirit of God, I decree you increase me. I cover myself, cover the, your word that coming forth with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover each and every one of us with the special blood of the Lamb of God. But I arise and let you scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. But I'm going to thank you and I bless you, only Father, in Jesus' mighty name. I have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Our Jehovah is good. Excellent Father. Excellent God. So we are going to let us turn to the book of uh, Hebrews. He Hebrews 12. The book of Hebrews 12. We are going to study the word of the law from uh, 1 to 15. Hebrews 12, 1 to 15. We are, we are going to follow step by step by the grace of God. By the grace of God, may the Lord Almighty give us the understanding of his word and to, under, to explain it to each and every one of us for us to be able to understand in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I read in Jesus' name. The book of Hebrews. Let me just. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Okay. It's loud enough. Okay. Hallelujah to the. I read in Jesus' name. The book of Hebrews 1 to 15. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Wherefore. Hallelujah. Wherefore, the sin we also are compassed about with a so greater a cloud of a witness, weaknesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which and the doors so easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him enjoyed, enjoyed their cross, despising the shame, and is, set, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For the consider him that Enjoyed a such and a contradiction of a sinners against himself, lest the yin be a weary and a faint in your mind. Yin have not yet resist unto blood, striving against the sin, and a yin have forgotten the exhortation which has speaked unto you as unto the children. My son, I despise the not thou the chastise in the chastisement of the Lord, none defend when thou art the rebuke of him, from the whom the of whom the Lord loveth he chastised, and the scourge 
every son whom he ne receiveth. If a yin and John a chastising a gone a dead with a you as a with her sons. For now what a son is a he whom the father chased and not. But if a yin been without a chastisement, whereof all the partakers, then are ye in a bastards and not a sons. Furthermore, we have a hard, we have a hard, we had, a, we had had the fathers of our flesh, which con, which corrected us, and we gave them a reverence. Shall we not much rather than being in subjection unto the father of spirits and the life? For a day and a verily, for day verily, for a few days, a chastise us after their own pleasure. But he for the, our profit, that we might be partakers of his holiness. Now, no chastising for the, the present or seem to, to be in a joyous, joy, joy, joyous, but a grievous. Nevertheless, afterwards it yield the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised there thereby. Wherefore, lift up the hands which hang down, and the feeble knees, and make a straight path for your feet. Lest that which is laid being torn out of the way, but let it rather be hid. Hallelujah. Follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. 15, the last one, the last. Looking diligent, look diligently. Lest any man fail of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and then by many be defiled. Praise Master Jesus. We thank God for the word of the Lord. The Hebrews chapter 12, from 1 to 15, we just read. We bless the name of the Lord. May the Lord give us the understanding of his word. So we are starting in verse one right now. So the word of the Lord is telling you and I, it said that we are for, seeing that we also are a compass about with a so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us and let us run with a patience, the race that is set before us. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. I thank God for God. The word of the Lord is telling you and I that, you know, when we are doing something, maybe you are in somewhere or you are in your house, you are doing something, you think nobody is watching you. I, I will think nobody's watching me. But the word of the Lord makes you and I to understand wherever we are, even in our bedroom, even in our closets. The word of the Lord is telling you and I that is a great witnesses that watching over you, that watching over me. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I might think I'm here alone, but Many things are here that are taking records that I don't even see, I don't even know. Praise Master Jesus. It's because of that when we do something, we think it's hidden, but on that day, when the judgment day, you will see that everything is open. You were thinking you are in the, in the secret place, but you are not there. It was like you are in the public stand, you are just in outside the standing that everyone can see what you're doing. So it's, it's very important for you and I as a believer to know there is people, there is things that are watching over us. Anything that we do, 
There is something watching, there's something watching us that watching you and I, according to the word of the Lord. If you and I didn't know about that, that something that is a great cloud of witnesses that watching over you, that watching over me to take record. So you and I must from today know anything that we are doing is not secret. We can do it in secret, but it's not secret. In the sight of the Lord, it's not secret. So in the sight of your enemy, in the Satan or our enemy, it's not secret. Praise Master Jesus. Somebody might not be there, but angels of the Lord might be there. Angels of the Lord not might be there, but angels of the Lord are there. They are watching, they are taking record. So it's because of that when we sin, we don't think and nobody knows, but there's glad of witnesses that the word of the Lord told you and I, they watch over you and I. Let us be careful what we do in secret, what we say in, in our closets, in our bedroom, what we do, let us watch out. Praise Master Jesus. I thank God for giving us the understanding that to you and I, we should watch out. We should watch out. We know, should not just say, I'm here alone. I can do any evil I want to do. Nobody will know. There is person out there. There is people out there. There is personality out there that watching you and I. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. We bless the name of the Lord. So we are seeing the one in the, in the Hebrews uh, 12. One. He said, let us uh, lay, uh, lay aside uh, every weight. Mm. Every weight. What kind of weight uh, the word of the Lord is telling you and I to lay down, to lay on side? Every weight. He said you and I should lay on side every weight. The weight that will that we slow you down not to follow the way of the Lord. The weight that we follow, that we that we slow you down, not to do the thing that that is right you wanted to do, but that weight is weighing you down. You cannot do what you want to do. The good thing you you plan to do, but you want to do it, but that weight, that thing that is in you, that weighing weigh you down, is not allow you to flow. Father God said in this world that we should what we should we should we should we should what we should put them we should lay them aside. So when we lay them aside, they will not disturb you. They will not disturb me. But if you don't lay them aside, you made them as your friend. You will still be where you are. Yesterday, last year, and this year, and the, the other year come. The other years coming, but you must lay them aside. I must lay them aside. What you know, this is the thing that weighs me down, that making me not to go to the higher level. Father God wants me to go, that he expect me. By this time, you and I, we are Christian for, for many, many years or many months, but we are still in the same place where we are. We accept our Lord, our Savior. We are still doing the same thing, the same thing we were saying before we came to Almighty God. There is something we have to give up. There is something we have to surrender. We must make up our mind that this thing now I have understood that the, that is the way that is a cloud of weaknesses watching over me. That means this weight, there is something in there. So praise Master Jesus. As the word of the Lord, we are seeing that in the verse one. Uh, the, the, he said, uh, let, let, he said uh, let us, the word of the Lord is telling you and I, for us to lay, uh, we should lay us. He said, he said, he said the word of the Lord, so he said, lay aside every weight and uh, the sin which it does uh, so easily beset us. Sin. So that means that uh, sin has, a, has weight. You might you might think there is no no weight. Seeing we can just see there is no weight on it. Where is the weight on it? It's not heavy. You just do what you do. It goes you goes about. You are free. No, the word of the Lord say we should lay them on side. 
Sin has weight. Sin will slow you down. Sin will hinder your progress. So Almighty God doesn't want you and I to be stagnant. Being where we are since as a Christian. See, we are still there. He, the word of the Lord said, us, you know, I thank God. I thank God for Apostle Paul. You say, well, I, I thank God for Apostle Paul that told us by the help of the Holy Spirit. We should lay those things down. We should lay them down. We should not let them deprive us. The, the good things that the almighty God has for you and I. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We should not let it let, we should not let the sin which is, is uh, which is so there easily beset us and then let us run with the patience the race that is set before all oh, dear. So the word of the Lord says there is race. There is race beset for you and I. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Race. There is race that you and I will run. Or this, heaven, this race for you, accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord, your Savior, as, as, as accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and as my Savior, there is race. We started the, the very day you signed up and said, Father, Lord Jesus, I have given you my life. Now you, you started race. You, you know it or not? The race of life. Eternal life. Hallelujah. So this race, I'm not going to run, uh, I'm not going to run the race for you. The race that is set before you and I, I'm not going to run it for you. You are not going to run mine. And the word of the Lord says, for you and I running this race, we need patience. You don't just start the race today, you finish it today. You and I need patience working on it step by step. The moment we, we are working on this, this, uh, this race, this race that is set before you and all, we are growing from that. We are growing as a child of God. T, we see our master Jesus. This race is heavenly race that is set before you and I. It's heavenly race, beloved. We bless the name of the Lord. Heavenly race. So you and I must run this race with patience. Don't say, don't be asking God, oh, I have given your life, I have given my life to you, Father God. Oh, you are delaying why you are not coming right now. I thought I would just give my life to you. Now you will just come and take all of us home. No. You know how many of us are not ready yet. How many of the of the of the of the children the, the children of God remnant they are still out there? Many of them they are still out there doing prostitution, stealing, robbing, doing all, all sorts of things, but they are remnant of the Lord. God wants all of them to come to know Him. God wants all of them to be saved. So you and I, we should not be hurry. Say, Father, come and come and take all your, come, come and take me home. Take all of us home. Let this one end light right now. No, God wants all of his children to be saved. The things that you and I are passing through because we have started the race, we should not give up. Praise Master Jesus. We should not give up on this race. Praise Master Jesus. Let us continue on this race till we finish it by the grace of God. Till we finish this race, we should not give it up. We should not let the enemy succeed, stopping us halfway on this race. Praise Master Jesus. You know, the athletes, the athletic, athletic, when they are doing their race, you know, you see them, they are known wearing clothes that is so heavy that we slow them down with their running. 
They will look almost, uh, you can see they're almost, they are, they, they, they are almost naked. For them to able to be lighter, to win the race. Those clothes, those heavy shoes that they are not wearing, that we wear them down. In spiritual realm, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the Christian realm, is the same. He's saying that we wake it all down, down to able to run this race, successful finish, we will finish. The scene is what we, 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 we drop, we will lay them down aside. We just lay them aside as the word of the Lord says to you and I. As the athletes, uh, they are doing their athletes, they are doing, when they are doing their, their sport, almost naked, you know, so that they can run fast. So you are not dropping those things now is the thing we have to drop. We have to surrender and tell the thing, saying you will not have dominion over me. You will not have dominion over me, saying, praise Master Jesus. Saying we don't have dominion over us in the name of Jesus Christ. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Let us Continue running this race with the power of God, with the anointing that he anointed us. I would like us to turn to the book of a Colossian. The book of, the book of uh, Colossians chapter 3, verse 8. Let's see what the word of the Lord says here. The book of Colossians, we are still coming to our... Hallelujah to the name of God. We bless the name of the Lord, our God is good. The book of Colossians... Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the name of God. Hallelujah. Three, eight. I read in Jesus' name. The book of Colossians 3, 8. It said, but and now ye also ne put off all this. Anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, Feed the communication out of your mouth. Verse 9. It said, lie not one to another. Saying that ye have put off the old man with his deed. Praise Master Jesus. These are the some some of the some of the sins, the weight, some of the weights that will slow you and on down in this race, in this heavenly race. The word of the Lord is telling us the, the weight, some of the weights you must, you and I must put, we must lay aside for you and I be able to run this race successfully. So then the, the number one there is the anger. So anger can weigh you down not to, not to run this, this heavenly race. Have you ever think have you ever think about it? Anger can stop me not to make heaven. The word of the Lord is telling you that anger is one of the weights that will stop you, that will weigh you down, that will make you not to run to your fullness in the in the in the in the in the in the, in the, in the things of the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Anger, they know some people when they are angry, they can destroy. They can destroy things. You can see them throwing things out, destroying the things out. Anger, when I uh, see one, uh, one of my sisters in the Lord, she was saying that uh, in a country, that two friends, two friends, they were, they were quarreling, you no know, heavy fight because of the anger. This man took uh, uh, matches. And just cut his friend's head off. Anger. What anger can cause? Now, when the eye of that man we come now, come to his uh, he senses, hey, my friend, because of argue, just the small thing, I cut my friend's head off. The word of the law says that we should lay those things down. So anger is one of them. The next one, the word of they say wrath. We should lay them down. Wrath. 
We should not let them stop our heavenly race. We should not let them hinder us. I thank God for you and I. We have the power. We have the power to reject every work of the devil. Any work, anything that is, is bringing to a rose, we have that power. We have that power to tell him no. Satan reject you in the name of God. We will not do this evil. Because the moment you 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 listen to him, you do what he you 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 are doing. You do what he wants you to do. You are in his cage. Now he ha, he ha, now he has the upper hand over your life. You know it or not, because you have opened the door for him to come in. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. They told you and said malice. Are you keeping malice? Somebody says something you don't you don't like what that person said, or you just you don't want anything to do with that person. You don't want to talk to that person. Who that person is greeting you? No answer. Oh, husband and wife can it can it can be husband and wife. The the, the husband did something to the wife. The wife oh okay for a week or two weeks no talking to your husband, and you're a Christian. That is one of the ways that will weigh you then you're in a Christian life. Lay them aside. I should lay them aside. Malice. Keeping malice. Somebody says something you don't like. You don't have to keep that person. Just isolate that person. You don't talk to that person. Talk to, talk to, you can tell that person openly. Discuss open discussion. Tell that person what you said was uh, it, it hurt me. Tell that person and let that person know. If that person wants to say sorry, let that person when you allow that let allow the person to say sorry and take that that, that and take that, that apology from that person. Not the one that you say you don't want to see that person, you don't want anything to do with that person. Even that person calling you, asking you for mercy, please forgive me because you said you don't want. You, you are keeping malice, a child of God. Malice is one of the weight you and I must lay aside. So the second weight here is said blasphemy. Blasphemy. How do you blaspheme? How did a, a blasphemy is a weight that you weigh you down in the Christian that we weigh you and I down in the Christian life? Let me just say one of a, one 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 I can I can remember. Maybe you will have your all those uh, all those uh, series you are watching, and they, none, in that series you see them. They are using the name of Almighty. They are using the name of God, the name of Jesus Christ, and just uh, saying any rubbish. Okay, blasphemy, just saying any rubbish that is not even making sense uh, in to our Father God. And you are there. You are listening to them. You are laughing. You, you think it's joke. You think it's funny. They are blasphemy, almighty God. You now that listen to them, you now that laughing what they are doing, you are partaker of them. You are the same. Both of you are blasphemy God. Oh, the one that we call the, they said they, they call their com com comedy to come and be comedying them in the house of God. And that comedy will come start blasphemy the word of God. And they start laughing. And all them that they laughing at the, what this man is saying, that say, or oh, woman is a comedy. All of you, you are blasphemers. Because you join the one that doing the evil. You agree with them, laughing with them, clapping with them. We should not blaspheme God. We should not blaspheme the word of the Lord. We should not join the one that blasphemy God, rejoicing, clapping for them. Because they are sinning, you as well, that join them, you are sinning as well. Not say you are not the one that's standing at the altar or standing in the place in the, in the, the, the center saying what they are saying. Or on the television, you are not saying anything. You just laugh at them. You have agreed with them. Praise Master Jesus. 
So the verse uh, we are seeing, we I'm seeing the, the Colossians chapter three verse eight. It's a feeding communication. You know, some Christians when they say something, you will even you surprise. Are you are you a child of God? Some Christians they can cause. Even in their own self, they can give evil name to their own self. They are doing something that is not, you know, maybe it doesn't, it doesn't work out. They said, yeah, they know that it will not work out. They are failure. They always fail. You know, just give you rubbish name to their selves. Feed the communication. Talking to their children. Did their children uh, spray their meal or milk uh, or throw something down, do something. Instead of you correcting that child, you calling that child names. That is not the, that name is not the name that you give to your child. That name is not a, a name. It's not it's not a name that that child will remember. Will say yes. Will be happy. That name that you are calling your child because he did something wrong. Do you know? That that feeling communication, that word that coming out of you, do you know is a seed? That that child, as that child is growing, that seed, that word is growing with that child. Some of us, some of us, we grow up struggling. Why? Because of the things the parents have said to their child. Praise Master Jesus. Somebody is some is a child is something wrong. Don't say anything rubbish. Just correct. If you want to span that child, span that child, and they tell that child, look what you did. Look what you did. Do you know you are a good boy? Do you know you are a good girl? Don't do this one anymore. I did. I spank you because you did this wrong. You are a good boy. You are a good boy. You are a good child. That word. Is in there now? Oh, my mommy said I'm a child. I'm a good. Even though I I spoil, I, I, I broke something. I did something wrong. My mommy see call me a good child. I should not do it anymore. You are helping that child. I'm helping that child to grow in the way of the Lord. To grow and the, and they know that I'm valuable to my my parents. But if the parents uh, feed the communication, just say rubbish thing out of saying something to their child. But then the child is like, uh, it doesn't have a, even though he know his parents are there, he knows uh, my parents, I don't, I'm, I'm no value to them. My parent doesn't love me. My parent doesn't even know if I'm alive. Many parents, we are fond of this. We are the children of God. May the Lord give us the grace to say good things to our children, to bless our children. Praise Master Jesus. To bless not to all our children, to bless others, to make communication that you will do that will bring glory to God. That God will see you are communicating with somebody. That communication is to bring glory to God, not the one that, Father God, we will see you. You are discussing with somebody. Father God, we start shaking, nodding, he said, oh, shaking, he said, what did he say? Oh, oh, this is my daughter. Oh, this is my son. Regretting what you are just saying. May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus Christ. We, may the Lord give us not to the grace, not to, not for, when we are saying the word that we bring grace, that we edify somebody. Praise Master Jesus. May the Lord give us the grace not to be, now, what is it called? The feeding communication not to be coming out of our mouth. Praise Master Jesus. Let us turn back there to the Hebrews 12. Praise Master Jesus. We are seeing that verse 1. So now let us turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24. 1 Corinthians 29, 24. Sorry. 1 Corinthians 9, 24. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good. May the Lord give us the grace to understand the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Verse 24, 29, 24. I read in Jesus' name. 1 Corinthians 9, 24. 
Know ye not that uh, they which are run in a race uh, run all, but uh, one uh, receive the prize. So the run uh, that uh, ye may obtain. The word of the Lord, you know, the, the race that they said before you and I, the word of the Lord is telling you and I, for you and I to run it. So that, so for you and I to run this race so that we receive prize. Which prize are you going to receive? Which prize am I going to receive? Is heaven, everlasting, ever, ever, everlasting life. Is the prize you know, God will reward you, reward me with. That on that day when he will come, on that day that he will call us, that we say, come into my glory, enter into my glory. Praise Master Jesus. He says, son, a run that ye might obtain, for you and I obtaining heaven. Let us run this race patiently with the grace of God. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Let us turn to, go back to the to Hebrews 12, verse 2 now. It said, looking unto the Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that uh, was uh, set before, the, before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and uh, is uh, set uh, down at uh, the right hand of, uh, of the throne of God. Praise Master Jesus. Our Father, Almighty God, Lord Jesus, let us, in any situation we find ourselves, let us think and let us look unto our Jesus, our lovely Jesus, the author and the finish of our faith. Father, Lord Jesus, saw the suffering, saw the shame that he is going to go through. He didn't give up. He continued. He, he got to that, to that Calvary. Until they nail him there. He endured. You and I, let us endure no matter the no matter the, the circumstances, no matter the situation, no matter the persecution, no matter the hardness. Let us look unto our lovely Jesus. He been there. He went through horrible things. He didn't give up. He didn't cave up. He didn't surrender to the enemy. He that didn't surrender to the enemy. He's sitting right now because he endured. He despised the shame that he knows. Not that, you know, some of us we think, if I say, let me live for Jesus, people will be mocking at me. They say, ah, this one is a Christian now. Ah, you are a Christian now. Mostly when you decide to live for Jesus in holiness and righteousness. People will mock you. You will pass through. You will pass through fire. You will pass through through through, through things that it, it was not happened to you before when you were nominal Christian. When you are nominal Christian, everything is easy, easy go. But at the moment you decide to follow the really way of Almighty God in obedience and and and, and, and in obedience and, and righteousness. You will say, all oh, hell break loose. Then you start asking yourself, what? See what Father God went through, Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. If he can endure, you and I can endure. Father God that gave him the grace to endure, he will give you another grace to endure. Look at it right now. We bless the name of the Lord. Now, Father Lord Jesus is sitting on the right hand of our God. He didn't get there by just uh, uh, eating chips and the uh, butter and the uh, bread, uh, stretching his leg on the on the sofa without doing nothing, without passing through things. He went. He's sitting there right now on the right hand of his father, because he went through, through pain, through shame, to the cross. You see. You and I cannot say, ah, Jesus, Jesus Christ, because he was, a, he's the son of God. He don't have to do nothing, no suffer. No, no, that is it. It's now it's because of that father God reward him. Now he's sitting on the, on the father God's right hand side, just like that. No, it was not to Allah. 
Not to allow Lord Jesus Christ to enter heaven and say it that, 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 that now he's sitting at the, at the right hand of Almighty God. He paid the price. He paid the greater price, a higher price for him getting there. It's because of that when you are seeing all those ministers telling you once saved, forever saved, they are lying to you. They are lying to you. If our Lord, the Almighty God, the Son of God, went through this kind of uh, this kind of situation, went through this kind of persecution, so don't think, uh, don't think you and I we are spared. No, we will pass through fire. We will pass through, but it will not burn us, as the Word of the Lord says. Praise Master Jesus. For you and I obtain that prize. We have a we have prize. We have we have uh, things to give up. Praise Master Jesus. And things to do. Hallelujah. To, things to lay aside and things to do. That you are now not there. We, we, we that prize will be given to you and I. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Our Lord Jesus endured the cross. Despairing the shame and it is sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Let us look unto our Master Jesus. The author and the finisher of our faith. Praise Master Jesus. Let us turn to the book of Philippians. Uh, uh, the book of Philippians. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Legend tune 8 to 9. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for God. God give us the grace to understand his word. Philippians 2, 8 to 9. I read in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. He said, and, and being found in the fashion as a man, he humbled in himself and became obedient unto the death, even the death of the cross. Nine. Wherefore, God also has highly exalted him. Amen. And given him a name which is above every name. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for Jesus. You see, he humbled himself. As a Christian, we should not be proud. Let us humble ourselves. Let us follow the footstep of our Lord Jesus Christ. We should not be proud. Let us humble ourselves. He humbled himself. He didn't say, because I'm a son of God, I don't have to do all these things. Everybody must we must serve me. Every mother must know he humbled himself. The word of the Lord said he humbled himself and he became obedient. So let us humble ourselves and obedience, you know, obedience is the key. Obedience is the, is the key for you and I getting to go to, to heaven. We must obey Almighty God. We cannot say, I decide to do what, what I will, what I want to do. No, you have to humble yourself before Almighty God. I have to humble myself before Almighty God. If the Son of God can, he can humble himself before Almighty God. So who are you and I that we say we will not humble ourselves before God? Praise Master Jesus. Let us humble ourselves before Almighty God. Let us be obedient to Almighty God. Lord Jesus Christ is sitting right now on the right hand of our God on the, on, his, on, the, on the throne of God right now because of his obedience, because of his humbleness, because he has paid the price. Praise Master Jesus. Heaven is available for you and I if we do what is what the requirement. Praise Master Jesus. So we cannot bypass what is said. The standard, you cannot bypass it. Say, oh, I will bypass it to get to heaven. No. Father God needs, uh, uh, he, require, he, he requires obedience. 
humble yourself. I humble myself. Obey Almighty God, the obedient. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. May the Lord give us the grace as a child of God uh, to humble ourselves before Almighty God, to obey Almighty God. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. Let us turn to the book of uh, Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The, we, the, the book of Hebrews 5, 8 to 9. Let us turn to the book of Hebrews 5, 8 to 9. We are seeing the verse 2 in the Hebrews. Uh, let us turn to the book of Hebrews 5. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The book of Hebrews 5, 8 to 9. I read in Jesus' name. Though he never won a son, yet I learned that he yet I learned he in obedience by the things which he suffered. Mm. And being a man a perfect, he became the author of a eternal salvation unto all them that obey him hallelujah hallelujah the son of god only 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 only, only begotten son of god only one son he has he suffered father god allow him to suffer why why Father God allowed his son, only one, only because only one, not 20, not that. Let him say, okay, let me, let, let, let him suffer. I still have other one. No, no, only one, only one, only because his son one. And he allowed him to suffer. So if Father God allowed the Lord Jesus Christ to suffer, so we cannot say, Father God, why you allow me passing through this suffering? Why you allow me passing through this? He went, love his son, only one. He suffered. He allowed him to go through all this suffering. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Father God. We thank God for God. And we thank God for the example that Lord Jesus Christ has set before you and now. Let us follow that example. When we are passing through something, remember Jesus Christ went through suffering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said the word of he said, he said he, he learned, he, he said he let he yet learn he obedience. That means obedience is very important in our Christian life. Being a child of God, obedience is very, very important. You see, for no the suffer. He was passing through, he was suffering. He learned through that suffering, obedience. So you and I, we learn as well. Hallelujah. He said, and a being that made it perfect through his suffering. Through Lord Jesus Christ's suffering, he was made what? Perfect. Praise Master Jesus. Through his suffering. Not through his uh, rejoicing and oh, dancing from here to here. Oh, enjoy himself. No, it's not from there. It's not from the enjoyment. No, he made, uh, he was made perfect. No, through his suffering. Through his obedience to God. I thank God for God, you know. Father God said, you and I, we should be perfect. Lord Jesus said it to us, we should be perfect as a child of God. As our Father, which is in the heaven, is perfect. If it's not possible, Father God will not tell you. If it's not possible, Father God will not have it. Father Lord Jesus Christ, Christ will not have it. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. We, let us all go back to the, uh, the book of uh, Hebrews. Hebrews 12, verse 3 now. Let us start 3. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Verse 3. For ne, for ne consider him that uh, endured uh, such uh, a contradiction of a sinner against uh, himself. Listen, ye ne be ne weary and ne be ne weary in your mind, we should not be weary. 
We should not let the enemy bring in things that will make our mind to be faint in our mind. It's because of that we should renew our mind as said the word of the Lord says. How you, you and I, how do we renew our mind? We renew our mind with the word of God. But because enemy is there fighting us, not to remember the word of God. You hear the word of the Lord right now. If you don't take care, meditate on the word you have heard, the enemy comes and steal it from you, steal it from me. It's because of that way, many Christians, we don't know the word of the Lord. We are hearing, not that we don't hear it, not that we don't listen, not that we don't read the word, but the enemy of your soul, the enemy of my soul is fighting. Because he's, he, he knew that it's the word of the Lord, you and I can able to defeat him. So he's fighting to turn it to take that word that you and I are hearing, take it out of our mind, to make our mind to be weary. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. Let us read the word of the Lord to renew our minds. We should not let the, the enemy bring in the cares of this uh, of this earth. The, the cares of this that oh, I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to do this. You don't have time. You don't have time to renew your mind with the word of God. Praise Master Jesus. For you and I having victory over our enemy, we need the word of the Lord. May the Lord give all of us the grace. Praise Master Jesus. So verse 4. He said, ye ne have uh, Hebrews chapter uh, 12, verse 4. Now, ye ne have not ye ne resist unto blood, striving against sin. You see? You see? Lord Jesus Christ, resist. Eh? Resist what? Unto blood. Till that day, they name him on the stripes. So they were giving him, you know, whipping from here to here. Oh, my God. Blood was flowing out of him from the crown of his head to the feet to the to the sole of his feet. But he didn't give up. He didn't give up to the he didn't give up to the enemy. He didn't surrender to the enemy. No. He hold on unto Father God. A thank God, Holy Spirit that gave him the grace is with you and I. We are not slowly. We are not in this battle alone. Holy Spirit is with you and I. It's because of that you and I, we should not forget Holy Spirit. We should not neglect Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit very, very 100% bite you in our Christian's life. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. So verse 5. It said, And ye have forgotten the exhortation on which I speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastising of the Lord, non offended, non offended, non offended when thou at a rebuke of the Lord. You see, when you and I got rebuke from Almighty God, we should not say, Ah, uh, why something in now? I got rebuke now, I don't want anything to do with God. Ah, uh, why this thing happened to me? Why God chastised me? Why God disciplined me? It's disciplining you for your for, for your good. Because he loves you. Because of that, he's disciplining you. Take that discipline. Thank God for that discipline. Thank God, what do you want me to learn to learn on this this this, this uh, discipline? This uh, chastise you are chastising. What do you want me to learn? There may be, might be there's something in your life God is dealing with. God doesn't want that thing to stop you, not to spend eternity with him. He wants you to give up that thing so that it will not hinder you. Don't say, now because it's disciplined me, now I have to run away. To who? To the world? You want to run away to the world? What did the world have for you? Nothing. Everything that is in the world is sorrow. Praise Master Jesus. Because of his love, he's disciplining you. Just take that discipline. Accept it. Learn from me what you want to learn. It's for your good. It's for my good. Praise Master Jesus. It's for your good. It's for my good. 
We should not run away from that discipline that is disciplining us. Anytime is disciplining us. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. You see, it said that chastising of the Lord for faint and when a, when a thou at a rebuke of him. When he rebuke you, rebuke me. We should not be angry. We should not be asking God, why, why? Ask God, what do you want me to learn? And he will give you the grace. And he will tell you what he wants you to learn. What you need to know. Ask him what you need to know. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master. Maybe somebody is coming to your life. And that person very, very hard to you. Very hard to you. Doing something that you, your, your flesh is, cannot take it. Maybe something God wants to let you to learn something from there. If you ask him, daddy, what do you want me to, what do you need? What I need to learn? And he will give you and I the grace to, to take that discipline. Not to run away because he's disciplining us. Because he's correcting us. He loves you and I. It's because of that he's correcting you and I. You know the one you don't love. You don't even talk to that person because if that person is even do anything that you know that it will harm that person, we just be looking at that person like you don't even see. But because of the love, he corrects you, discipline you. Let us be grateful. Let us be grateful. Lord Jesus, he doesn't, no, he doesn't want anything to take you and I from him. Praise Master Jesus. When he's throwing you, just take that point and grow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Let us take the correction where God, Almighty God, is correcting us. Might be using people to correct you. Take it. Take it and learn from it. I should take it and learn from it. Because we are in this race together. Praise Master Jesus. It's not only you. Both of us, we are in this race together, this discipline. We should not be discouraged. We should not be discouraged. Let us turn to the book of a uh, Proverbs. The book of Proverbs. The book of Proverbs 3. Hallelujah to the name of God. The book of Proverbs 3, 11 to 12. I read in Jesus' name. Proverbs 3, 11 to 12. It says, my son, a despise and not the chastising of the Lord. Ninda ne be weary of uh, his uh, correction. 12. For the whom uh, the Lord uh, loveth, uh, he corrected. Even as a father, the son, in a home, uh, he delights. If, the, if a fa father delights in his son, he correct that son. If that son don't want to take any correction, correct, he will leave that. Even though the, that child, before the child know what is going on, what will now Something bad happened. What do you want to? He cannot blame his father. The father has already corrected him. He didn't want to take that correction. He didn't take that, that, that discipline that the father was disciplined. Praise Master Jesus. As he's correcting you and I, let us take that correction. Praise Master Jesus. He loves you. He delights in you. Delights in me when he sees you and I obey him. Do what pleases him. That bringing joy to his heart. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. As the word of the Lord is saying here, for you and I to take a, the, 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 the correction, the Almighty God correcting you and I. Praise Master Jesus. We should tell you, my son, that despise and not the chastise, despise not the discipline of the Lord. Not be weary. Of his correction. Don't say, ah, oh, God is correcting me again now. Oh, again. Ah, he go, he's pruning you. He wants the perfect way for your life. He wants his glory to shine in your life. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. On that day when you will be with him in heaven, you will be so grateful that he pruned you, that he, correct, he corrected you and he corrected you and he disciplined you and you took that correction, that discipline for, you know, now he made you perfect. Now you can stand. You are now you're in heaven. 
Hallelujah. May the Lord give us the grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. To the Lamb of God, we bless the name of the Lord. So let us turn back to the book of Hebrews. We are seeing the book of Hebrews, verse 6 now. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. It said, For whom the Lord loved, he chastened and then scourged every son whom he received the seven. If ye endured chastening, God did with you as with the son, sons. For now, what a son is he whom the father chastened not it? But if ye been without a chastisement, we are of all, all our partakers, then are ye in a bastards, and are ye bastards and no sons. Almighty God don't want us to be bastards. We are his children, sons and daughters. As he's correcting us, discipline us, let us say that discipline. May the Lord give us the grace in the name. We are the sons. Praise Master Jesus. Verse 9. Furthermore, we have a heart. Furthermore, we have a heart. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Furthermore, we furthermore, we have had a father of our flesh, which corrected us, and we gave them a reverence. Is it not true? When uh, our father corrected us when we were small, we respect our father, even though they were hard on us. But when they grow, we see that they, they did something good, not allow us to be a wayward son, a wayward daughter. You know, we are grateful we have a that tough father like that, you know. That make us to sit up and think what well, that if I go out with my friend, my father doesn't want me to go out with this friend. Ah, uh, I'm a soup. <laughs> you don't you sit up, you don't go out with that kind of friend. Because when you go out there, your daddy's waiting for you. Ah, you will enter soup, daddy. You don't go, you don't go out with that friend. And in future, you will see that the life of those uh, friends you wanted to go, all their lives are useless. Now, because of the discipline of your father, you, are, you became somebody good. You became a good, good person in the society. You, what, now you are thanking God for that your father. But that your father didn't close his uh, eyes, shut up his, uh, his mouth, just shut up, no, not say anything, let you go with a wayward friend. And you and that friend, so you, all of you will just go like that. You know? We reference them, our early father. That discipline, or you know, ah, this is my father. I don't joke, no. You know, when we were talking, I, I thank God for God. So I think on the sat, I think on Saturday or Sunday, when we sat down on the table, we were eating. So then uh, we were talking, me and the children, my husband, we were discussing. I think I discussed my son say, ah, that if he if he hear his daddy more. If he hear his daddy more, that his daddy, when he sees his daddy's face, his daddy is always serious, no? Since he fear his daddy more, <laughs> we were laughing. <laughs> we were laughing. We said, really? You, he said, yes, it's my daddy. I fear more. I said, whoa, okay. <laughs> no, that correction, that <laughs> discipline. Now, I didn't, we didn't know that all this thing uh, now is in their mind, you know? He's, now he respects his father. You know, it, in fact, I, did, I was thinking this father was the one really soft to them. I didn't know he sees that that is that he is the one that was very tough to but to him. And I was our daughter said, ah, no, my daddy was very soft. My daddy is so soft. And my son said, no, no, not daddy, no, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we bless the name of the Lord. Our father, our early father, we reference them. We bless the name of the Lord. We let us reverence our Almighty God as He's disciplined us. Let us take that correction. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. So if verse now, we are seeing the verse nine. I start in the B, I think it's B. Shall the wind and not a monster rather than being in the subjection unto the father of a spirit and the life? Why not? Because our father is there, we will spend eternity later. We are going to spend eternity with him later by the grace of God. If you and I want to spend eternity with him, 
Because it's not forcing you, it's not forcing me. He gave us a way. Praise Master Jesus. Let us follow and reverence him, the father of spirits and life. Because it's only him. It's only him, it's only by him you and I, we have a good life. Enjoy him on this earth. After this earth, we are going to enjoy him from everlasting to everlasting by the grace of God. So verse 10, he said, for a day in a verily, for a few days, a chastiser also after their own pleasure. But he in a phone our prophet that a win might have been a partakers of his holiness. Hallelujah. You see? So that you and I will be partaker of who? Of his holiness. Hallelujah. It's our prophet when he corrected us. It's our prophet when he disciplined us. When he chastised us, it's our prophet. Hallelujah. So we are going to enjoy with him in his, with his, in his holiness. In, it, in his holiness. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good. Hey, hallelujah. In his holiness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us turn to the book of uh, uh, the book of uh, Hebrews. Sorry, the book of uh, Job. Job 10. The book of Job. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The book of Job 10. One to two. One to one to two. I read in Jesus' name. The book of Job 10. One to two. My soul is a weary of my life. I will not leave my complaint upon myself. I will not speak in the bitterness of my soul. I will not say unto God, do not, do not condemn me. Show me wherefore thou contentest with me. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. You see, Brad Job, I thank God for Brad Job. Brad Job asked questions. You know, when we are passing th uh, something, we know this is that. Let us, uh, we should not say, why, why, why? No, ask question, Father, why this thing is happening? You want to know so you know, you, you will know where to change. But not complaining, not murmuring. Ask Father God, why this thing is happening to me? I want to learn. I want to change. I want to be a better person. As Brad Job did here, he asked Father, he asked Father God, where I'm not doing something that I'm not content with it. Why? Tell me, what am I doing wrong? And he will correct you and all. And he will tell you and all. He's the lovely Father, Almighty God. He did it for Brad Job. He will do it for you and all. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. So verse uh, now, verse 12. Sorry, verse 11. Hallelujah. Uh, Hebrews 12, 11. I start from 11 now. Now, the known a chastising for the, the present. Same to the being a joyous about a grievous. Nevertheless, uh, afterwards uh, it uh, yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness uh, unto them uh, which uh, are exercised, uh, therefore, unto them which exercise it. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He brings uh, that you and I, when the chastisement, the discipline of the Lord, the word of the Lord said, is not joyous. It's not joy. It's not joyful that you see you are passing through this space, this hardship, this persecution. It's it's not it's not it's not a joyful thing. But if you and I enjoy it according to the word of God, it is a grievous sin. It grieves you. It's sorrow. You know you cry. But the word of the Lord said, but he said, for after that, after those, uh, all those uh, trials, uh, all those uh, persecutions, uh, after that, uh, he said, ye what? What the word that the Lord said he ye did? He said, ye is peaceable. Hallelujah. That means the chastisement of God, the Lord, cor the corrections of the Lord, the discipline of the Lord, he ye what? 
peaceable fruit yield the word a righteous and righteous in a fruit of righteousness fruit of righteousness when we put the when we exercise the discipline we exercise it it brings what peaceable and the fruit of righteousness in your life in my life praise master jesus hallelujah to the lamb of god so verse 12 now wherefore they lift up their hands which I have a which I hang down and the feeble knees verse 13 and they make a straight path for your feet lest that which is the limb being the torn out of the way but a but let it rather be hid for him follow peace with all men and the holiness without a which and no man shall see the lord you know many of people you will ask them, you see you will see some you want to evangelize so some people out there you just ask are you a christian they will tell you yes and you look at them by the appearance jezebel properties are there you will ask them if you if it comes in your mind you say do you have you heard about uh, that uh, without holiness no man shall say yes i know they will tell you yes i know ah yes yes without holiness no man shall see them now nah, yeah yeah you are right yeah yeah i know that and they knew but why stop them not doing what do we really glorify almighty god disobedient praise master jesus they don't want you people to to, to be ashamed they don't want you let people see that now they are living a holy life they are shame of all almighty god shame of god how can i live like this not packing jewelries not putting all these fake things on your head i fake and i first i like his first hair makeup and lipstick all these things and trousers putting trousers as a woman packing jewelries bleaching your skin putting tattoo piercing piercing if you strip those things off, you don't want to do it anymore. Now you think people will be running from you. Or anyway, they will run from you anyway. They, will, they, will, they don't want to mingle with you because now you are not of the world anymore. You are for you are for Jesus. Immediately they will say it. But don't be ashamed. God is with you. Say, so without holiness, follow peace with all men. <laughs> no man shall see the Lord. It's not a joke that we will think that what he says is just playing. He's God. You see, his son, before his son, Lord Jesus Christ, is sitting at his right hand right now in heaven. He allowed him to, to go through suffering. His son suffered. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. What you and I enjoy right now of our Lord Jesus Christ, he paid dearly. Hallelujah. So now we are still reading verse 15. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Verse 15. Look it diligently, at least any man fail of the grace of God. That means somebody can fail from the grace of God. Hallelujah. But that those ones that are telling you grace, 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 you can sin, and grace is still there. You can do fornicate, you can do everything, all those evil things. Grace is still there. You can fail from the grace of God. The word of the Lord is telling you, if you are not, don't look diligently, you might fall, you might fail from the grace of God. That's why you are now you should not listen to those ones that tell you grace, grace, grace. So you can sin, you can say fornicate, you can lie, you can cheat, you can barbite, you can put you, bitterness, anger, all this. It doesn't matter because grace is there for you. The word of the Lord says you and I should look diligently so that you and I will not fail from the grace of God. Because the grace of God is for you and I to know the right thing, to do the right thing, and follow the right thing. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We should watch out not to fail, not to fail from the grace of God. 
The grace is here for you and I. We should watch out. If you don't watch out, I don't watch out. Man can fall. Man can fail. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He said, least any, least, least any uh, root of a bitterness stringing uh, up uh, trouble you, and uh, uh, and uh, there by many be defiled. Root of bitterness. Because the moment somebody fail in the, for, uh, fail in the grace of God, the things that you said you don't want to do before, those evil things that you have rejected, you, you, you say, I can never do this. I will never do this. When that person falls from the grace of before you start seeing yourself, you're doing it. You have, that person has fallen from the grace of God. That person has fallen because the grace is not there anymore that will protect you. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Let us watch out. Let us be watchful. Not to, not to fail from the grace of God. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Let us separate our sins, ourselves from the sin. As the word of the Lord says, the Hebrews 12 from 1 to 15, that you and I should watch out. There's many clouds of weaknesses that are watching over you and I. Let us watch out. Lord Jesus loves you and I. He doesn't want you and I to miss you on that day. Anything that you are passing through, let us look unto Lord Jesus, the auto and the finishing of our faith. He's here to help you and I. No matter the shame, no matter the persecution, no matter the try, the hardship, let us look unto Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. May the Lord give us the grace to renew our mind every day by the word of God, by the help of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. When it's chastising us, correcting us, let us take that correction. Let us take that correct, that discipline. Let us be pleased and humble ourselves before mighty God. And ask him what he wants us to learn. So what do we need to learn? He's ready to help you. And I thank God for the grace of God. I thank God for the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is with us. Hallelujah. It's because so that he came for you and I. Living on this earth for you and I. To help you and I. To, to, to succeed. To make, to make it at the, on the last day. Hmm? Let us reverence almighty God. Let us reverence him. Let us obey him. Reverence him. Obedience. Obedience brings the blessing. You know, let us be obedient to the God Almighty, the Father, the Father of the Spirit and life. May the Lord bless you. Let us live the life of holiness, the life of holiness, the life of righteousness. Let us follow our neighbors. Let us follow our relatives, our friends, our home. Let us follow everyone with, with, with what? Let us follow everyone with peace of the Lord. May the Lord give us of us the grace to follow him, to exercise he, what he wants us to do. And help, let us, the final one, please let us, let us, let us look, look, looking diligently, not to fail from the grace of God. It is, it's, it's possible for somebody to fail in the grace of God. Because when you fall in the, as I've already said, what you said you don't want to do, you say you reject, you will never do this thing anymore. When the grace you fall in the, you fall in the faith in the grace of God, that thing you say you don't want to do before you find yourself, you are doing it. You say you will not lie before, you don't want to lie anymore. But when you fail in the grace of God, you can lie anyhow. You don't want to fornicate anymore. You don't want to do, do all those evil things anymore. But as soon as somebody fall, fail in the grace of God, now the enemy can enter and so see it that you would, could not even think you can do those evil things. May the Lord help us to hold on to him, to look up to him, our lovely Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. This is the Bible study of today. May the Lord bless all of us. May the Lord sow his word in our heart. May the Lord give us the grace to renew our mind 
in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Hand over to you, ma'am. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That was wonderful. May the Lord bless you for this wonderful message. Hallelujah. It's so sweet, you know, when you study the word of God, it's like you don't want to stop. It's so sweet, you know, the more you study, the more you discover new things, the more you know the mind of God towards us, you know. It is true. <clears throat> you know, sin is heavy. Sin is so heavy that we need to, we don't need, we not, we don't need sin in this heavenly race. We need to, to free ourselves from anything that will make us heavy to run this race freely, you know. Anger, that spirit of anger, many things that is the, really is the one that is really making our holiness, our spiritual life to slow down. You know, many people, they might think that, ah, I'm free. I have the fruit of spirit, but they are still struggling with anger. They are still struggling with the anger. So I always say that, you know, anger, the damage that anger can, the damage that anger do in the life of a believer, the damage that the anger can do in the life of a believer, the regret cannot fix it, cannot repair it. You know, may the Lord help us to live a holy life. The Bible is telling us in Ephesians 4, 26, that be angry and sin not. Let no sun go down upon your wrath so that you not open the door for the spirit of bitterness to come in, spirit of unforgiveness to come in. You can get upset, you can get angry, but immediately go into repentance. Repent and go to, to deliver you. Don't allow that thing to be rooted in your, to be like that seed to grow. To bring bitterness, to bring, to bring anger, to bring all those evil things in our life. May the Lord bless us. May the Lord help us that to be free from that spirit and to live a complete holiness, to be in the standard of heaven in the name of Jesus. I'll call my sister, the servant of the most highest, Claudia. May the Lord bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you, Sister Fisher. Again, uh, awesome. You know, when, when a preaching is being preached, an exhortation, and we personalize it, we take it for our own selves, I believe that's when it has the most effect. Not thinking, oh, that belonged to somebody else, I know, but it is for us, yours truly, you know? So our sister said this, uh, in the beginning that sin actually hinders, it slows down literally deprives us of anything good God has for us. Wow. Okay. You are online to get things that are good and sin comes. If you know you are going to get a brand new car and someone is coming to prevent you from getting it, you'll do anything in your powers for you to get that car. But that is something tangible. That is something you can hold with your hand and drive and so forth. But the kingdom of God, it's, it's an intangible thing, but it's bigger. How much more emphasis we should put on? How much more emphasis I should put on? So as our sister Marie was reading, you know, the, the scripture, let, don't let the sun go down on your wrath. I said, you know what I should do about the fruit of the spirit? I should print it and put it on my phone. Yeah, just print a little sub copy and attach it to my phone. So every time I pick up my phone, I remember anything I'm going to say, here's the fruit of the spirit. It just occurred to me now. So that may be a good idea to help me. Put it on my refrigerator, fruit of the spirit. Put it on my front door, fruit of the spirit. In the bathroom mirror, fruit of the spirit. Huh, anything to help us enter the kingdom of God, to help us be humble and to put that word in practice. It's a wonderful thing when we hear it. But it is not only to be hearers, be hearers and doers. So as our, our sister is preaching about a race to life, eternal life that is, all the race are individual. And we need patience. I realized for me, I said, I need patience. I need a lot more patience. And many of us, we are in a hurry. We want to get things done, but that race, even if we overtake somebody, there are things we have to go through. There are things we have to win. 
uh, not in our own selves, is the grace of God. And as, as an athlete, we cannot have things in our body. I used to run and you can't have heavy clothing, cumbersome clothing on you. Even your shoe cannot have sand in it, you know? Your socks have to be, everything have to be perfect for you to run, just to start. And for you to maintain, you cannot have, can you imagine every time you run, there was a piece of uh, a sand in your shoe? It's distracting. And that is sin to us when we are on that race. Very distracting. It is wise for us to take the word of God and make it practical. It's one thing and we have it up there and we, it's so high we cannot reach it. But when we apply it to our lives on a daily basis and you know, apply it to our children, apply it to our spouse, because I, I believe that's what the word of God is. It's about application. Many people can hear what it's him doing is a big deal, you know? Applying the word of God. And I, 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 I hear you when you talk about our children, value our children, correct them, uh, but still tell them you're a good son, you're a good daughter, but this is what I corrected you for. This is what you've done wrong. And, and that validates the child saying that, that the child will not feel my mother hates me. I'm, a, I'm an embarrassment to my parents. Many children grow up with hangups when their parents divorce and they all think it's their fault. And the parents says, no, we love you. It's not about you, but you cannot convince the children. All they can think, you were fine before I was here. No, you are not. It is my fault. And no matter what you tell that child, that's what the child believes. Because the child says, before I was there, you were together. Now I'm here, you are not. The only way to convince that child is you to stay together. If you can't, the child believes that. That's it. So it's good to validate our children and tell them, or like, like, like Jesus, he, Jesus suffered for us. One day I saw something not too long ago, a picture of an arm. The arm was so beaten badly that it didn't look like an arm. It looked like a tree uh, 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 uh. With, with thick bark on it. And you know when blood has congealed? I cannot even describe it. And I said, was that the arm of our savior? The word of God tell us, consider him in Hebrews 12, three, for consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against his own self, against himself. Lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. And that is true. When someone calls you and give an argument and insults you and say these things about you, consider that Jesus, innocent one. Such contradiction he went for the people he's trying to save. Consider that, give it an, an, an consideration. Lest you faint in your mind and says, ah, it seems it's me alone that's going through this. Only Satan only knows my address. How about somebody else? I want somebody to have some of that bad thing. Yeah. It's your turn, please. Yeah. Whatever you are going through, whatever I'm going through. Oh boy, this year to 2020. <laughs> for me, that's going to go into a go down in history. But any which way. <laughs> we are going through this year one step at a time. But Jesus had to go through that. And his father had to leave him alone for him to feel everything. He felt abandonment. Loving Jesus humbled himself to the death of the cross. That is why heaven cannot allow no troublemakers. Because people who are there are humble, are meek. They have gone through the challenges of getting all the the flesh out and the fruit of the spirit alone in. So can you imagine? Anyone want to go there and they have works of the flesh? You can't. It has to be out. Because Jesus was tested beyond measure. And he endured this as a son. And he lived obedience. I don't know. This is such an example for us. While trying to save us, he, the innocent one, and we, you know, innocence, we get so angry. 
And he says, despise not the chastening of the Lord. For whom the Lord loveth, he, he corrected. Of course. But when God rebukes us, say, oh, what did I do? Mm -hmm. I think Judas would have said the same thing. What did I do? The sin, the sin apart. But may God have mercy on us. That we will, as, as Hebrews uh, 12, it says, um, seeing at one, seeing, wherefore seeing we are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Can you imagine? They are calling you and telling you, you come on, you're almost there, come on. And you and I cannot see it yet. Come on. You are more than halfway, come on. And they are waving you, come, you are doing and they're encouraging you. A great cloud of witnesses that have gone before us, encouraging us. Now, you know, you know that. Let us lay aside every weight. Somebody call your name. All right. Jesus received a few names. Yes. And the sin which doth so easily beset us. Anger, malice, bitterness, whatever it is. The, lab the label. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. I feel if we have an anger issue, fast about it. Fast until it's gone. Seriously. Your stomach will help you. <laughs> with the anger issue, what is though it's not getting food? Mm -hmm. Yeah, one day my stomach was bothering me because I was fasting. I said, please <laughs> find somebody else. <laughs> I was angry with my whole stomach, own stomach. I said, no, 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 I have no time for you. <laughs> I'm fasting now, please. <laughs> I, I come back another day. And after I said it, I said, wow, you must be very angry against yourself, Claudia. <laughs> By punishing your stomach. But it is true, it is wise. To get to stay on that narrow way, you have to be focused, looking onto Jesus, the author and finisher of all faith, who for the joy that was set before him. How many of us know that joy that is set before us? And we're ready to faint in our mind. We know it's heaven, we know there are mansions. We know, and some of us, please, no bungalow. Some of us know what we are going to get. We have already did, um, designed it, all the furniture in and everything, the garden, every, everything. But still, we're getting fitting in our minds. What's up with that? We tell God, no bungalow. But please, what happened to the fainting? May God help us, eh? May God help us. Jesus went through, through the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, and he sat down at the right hand of God. May Lord God give us that tenacity as Jesus to see the goal set, the finish line set there. And don't get fainted in, in our minds in any way. If people come and they do things to us or say things about us, so what? You're in great company. Anybody that goes to heaven, did they, they tell them all nice things? No. Anybody that's in heaven, they got names that they didn't, that wasn't theirs. Insults. Look at Stephen. While Stephen was getting stones, he said, lay not these things to their charge. Huh? Some people you insult them and they were to a Christian ready to jump down your throat. Remember Stephen before you jump down somebody's throat. He said he saw heaven, boy. And the people who was telling him, they said they saw his face as an angel. And still they stoned him. So can you imagine you getting angry and you're not looking like an angel? They will stone you. They will call you names. Oh God, deliver me. Me, my face look like an angel <laughs> when I'm getting problems and smile about it. What a lesson. And it's personal. You see, the lesson our sister is, is teaching us today the, for the Holy Spirit, huh? Apply to you, apply to me, apply to us. If you apply to somebody you know, it wouldn't have much effect, you know? Mm -hmm. Pass over your head. Don't do that. Take it for yourself. So you don't have to go wrong the mountain again, huh? In Jesus' name. I thank you so much. God bless you all. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. May the Lord bless you, servant of the Most High. God bless you for your comment. It's true. May the Lord give us the grace to run this race, you know, with the fear of God, that a small thing is not going to disqualify us out of the race. It's not going to take us out of the race. We need to um, lay aside all those work of the flesh that can hinder us from running freely 
You know, when somebody is inside the race, when a person running, he's only focused on the finish line. It doesn't look the people that are screaming. It doesn't, because if you look at these people, you get distracted and you miss it. You might even fall easily. But they, they don't look left. Even if you call their name, they will not look at you. They'll just concentrate until they will reach that finish line. They don't even know whether there's person in front of them or behind them. All they know in their mind, I'm the first, I'm the first, I'm the first. It's when you reach that finish line, then they'll tell him that, oh, there's another person that was before you. You know, they are trying all their energy. They will try everything to make sure that they are light enough to run in a speed that to make them to be the number one. Because in their mind, I must get it. I must get it. I must get it. That is the mind Jesus wants us to have. To put our focus on him alone. The, right. Jesus was not concentrated about any insults. He despised, he despised all the shame, the, all the insults, the because he was just thinking about the reward, about the glory, about the joy that is waiting for him mm -hmm. when his father would welcome him in his kingdom to give him what is waiting for him. You know, that exactly what he was making him to face any pain. Whatever the insult we are getting now is for our own good. Whatever the thing that people are doing, let us focus on our Lord Jesus. Let us have him. Amen. If he passed through, it is to show us the way. May the Lord bless. May the Lord help us. May the Lord keep us from falling in the mighty name of Jesus. Look how far. I was reading the book, um, the book of uh, Abraham Yakubo, that do not glory yet. You know, it was so sad because it was uh, this man a so-called man of God. He was a great man of God for 36 years. 36. He was a man of God, the overseer, general overseer for 36 good years. Imagine 36 good years. The challenge he went through, the persecution mm. he went through, mm. the trial that he went through, the sofa that he went through, all mm. the fasting and prayer, all no sleeping in the night, all those things, only for the anger to hinder you from, you understand, you have come so far. Only a small anger was enough to disqualify him. Can you imagine? All these 30, 30, 36 years. You know when you have all those 36 years and you are praying you are going to sleep with that anger? Anger brings forgiveness. Anger brings bitterness. What makes anger for you to have anger is the sign of unforgiveness. Disease. Yeah, when somebody insults you, you find it difficult to forgive that insult. That's what makes you angry. Each time you think about that, that insult, it makes you angry. That is the sign of the spirit of unforgiveness. Unforgiveness is so, they are so united with anger and bitterness and malice. They are all together. And you know that when you have one of them, how many fruit of the spirit that you are killing inside you? How many? You are taking peace out of you. You are taking love out of you. You are taking joy. kindness out of you. You are taking joy out of you. You are taking all. Imagine only one the fruit of spirit that is lacking in your life is enough to condemn you. Imagine how many are you lacking now? Okay. May the Lord help us. May the Lord help us to live a holy life, to live exactly the life God wants us to live. It is not easy, but it's, it's possible. The Bible wants us in Matthew 548 he said he wants us to be perfect if it was perfect. difficult to be perfect god would not ask us to be perfect that's right job did it enoch did it daniel inside babylon oh my goodness inside babylon in abomination country this man did not compromise even one day hey. but today people say that ah because uh, if i don't do that they will do this they will do that he was ready to go into the lions that they say if i die let me die there but I will not compromise. We can do better. There's no lion. Even if you have lions around us, God, the power of God, the grace of God is sufficient for us to stand. The lion is not going, which is the lion that is disturbing us now? Is pandemic, what is the law of the country? It was in Babylon when everybody must worship an idol, but he stood by his faith and he did not compromise. We can also do better. He was a human being just like you and I. He was even inside the kingdom of, you know, let's say that this king, they were eating human beings. 
This man he refused to eat the human being flesh in the table of the enemy. Some people say, ah, I just wanted to please him because I, I didn't want him to feel bad. I will go and repent later. Daniel said, no, I will stand. You know, I will stand. May the Lord help us to stand in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you, woman of God, for this powerful message and more grace in Jesus' name. So let us pray for the woman of God that God bless us with this message. He used to make herself available to be used by the Holy Spirit to bring this message in the mighty name of Jesus Christ on our side. Father, Lord Jesus, Father, we commit your daughter into your hand, O Lord Jesus, because on us are. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, Father, for using us this evening, O Lord, Father, for this powerful message that to remind us again, O Lord, Father, that you need to let us say all oh, malice, all oh, anger, all oh, bitterness, all oh, oh, filthy communication, Lord Jesus, Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, because on us Father, we commit all of us into your hand. Let Father restore the virtue that left her because of this powerful message, O Lord, Father, restore her back, O Lord, Father, with your anointing in the mighty name of Jesus, because on us Father, continue to use our mightly, O Lord Jesus, Father, in this hand time, O Lord, Father, to win so for your kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord Jesus, Father, remember our O Lord, Father, bless our O Lord, Father, with all the blessing that you prepared for her from the beginning of the year until now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, remember our, remember our children, remember our family, O Lord, Father, protect our O Lord, Father, with your divine protection, O Lord Jesus, because on us, Father, we commit her into your hand, O Lord, Father, that no weapon you fashion against her shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in Psalm 34, verse 7, it says that the angel of God that come around those that fear you and you deliver them, Father. Let the angel of God that come around our family around us to protect us against every powers of darkness that are not happy because of this message in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we cover out the blood of Jesus. Father, protect us, O Lord Jesus, because on us and Lord. No evil that will locate our locate our family in the mighty name of Jesus, because on us and Lord. Thank you, Father, for using that, O Lord, Father, to be a blessing for us, O Lord Jesus, because on us. We thank you, Father. We thank you, King of Glory, in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. We are going to pray for ourselves quickly before we round up. We are going to say, Father, anything that is heavy, any sin that is making me to be heavy, to run this race the way you want me to run, oh Lord Jesus, Father, take it away from me in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, open my eyes, let me see it and drop it in the name of Jesus. If it's mm -hmm. anger, malice, or forgiveness, pride, anything that is making me to be heavy spiritually, that is not making me to be freely to run this race the way you want me to run, Father, have mercy in the name of Jesus. Deliver me from it in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, that is Heavy that is making me all of not to run free all the things I may or may not see. Anything, Father God, deliver me. Deliver me, my husband, deliver my children, deliver my children, Father God, from anything that is waiting and holding them back from entering heaven. Anything that will hold back my children, Father, we will do that. Father God, help us to pray about it, oh God. Open our eyes to the name of Jesus. That any impediment I have holding me back, Father, and I may not be aware of it. Every class, every word, all of that communication, anything at all that is not in the body of Christ, our church, the body of Christ. My children, Lord, Father, deliver all the whole body of Christ, Lord, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, because of Nasa. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We are going to pray, Father, give us the grace, oh Lord, Father, to strive against sin, to strive against it, so that sin will not have dominion over our life, our children's life, our family's life, the body of Christ. In the name of Jesus, let us pray, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, give us a grace, Lord Father, to, to, uh, to strive, Lord Father, against sin, Lord Father, that sin will not have dominion over our life, over our children's life, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, on us, I do Father, help us, Lord Father, to resist, Lord Father, into blood, Lord Father, to strive against sin, Lord Lord. Father, that sin will not have dominion over our family's life, over our children's life, even ourselves, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, on us, Father, we cover ourselves with the blood of, the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen. May the Lord give us the grace to be allergic of sin. You know when you're allergic of something, you don't want to touch it because you know the consequences of that allergy? Exactly. We pray that God will give us, will make us to be allergic of sin. Each time you see sin, we run away from it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. So let us share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest in the Bible first and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall do it in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen.
Hallelujah. A few seconds silence, please. Amen. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Hallelujah.